The quantum Fourier transformation is a very important algorithmic primitive in uh, quantum computing. It is the foundation of many other quantum protocols, including quantum phase estimation, in which we want to estimate the eigenvalues of some unitary operator. So what happens is that given a unitary operator and one of its eigenvectors, uh, then this is going to be one of its uh, eigenvalues. But since this is a unitary operator, all of its eigenvalues are going to be on the complex unit circle. In other words, we can write it in this form. So this is e to the 2 pi i times some theta angle around the, the unit circle, the complex unit circle. And it is this phase, this theta phase, is what we are going to estimate to some finite precision. And the way it works, it has two parts. One is an inverse quantum Fourier transformation. That's easy. What comes before that, that's a little bit challenging to understand. So imagine that you have two sets of registers. Uh, you have n registers, which define the precision of your estimation. So this is where the estimated eigenvalue is going to be. And then you have the actual eigenvector coming in some, in some m registers. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the unitary operator over and over again in, in uh, these controlled operations. But uh, we, in each, each of these applications, the unitary will be uh, uh, applied for a different duration. So in the first application, we apply just the unitary itself. This is the unitary to the power of 2 to the 0. And then it's the unitary to the power 2 to, uh, two to the first, and so on, all the way to the unitary applied to uh, 2 to the n minus 1 times. So we create the equal superposition of the, the 0 cat in, uh, in, the, in this ancillary register where the eigenvalue is going to be written. Um, and the, so uh, each of these contra unitaries are, are, is going to be applied in superposition. So the, at the end of this procedure, this is the state that you're going to get. This is going to be your first qubit. So here you have uh, the unitary applied 2 to the n minus 1 times. So it's, it's this one. And all the way uh, to, the, to the very last nth qubit in, in your ancilla where you are estimating your, your eigenvalue. And if you look at this, look at the structure of this tensor product, you can actually rewrite it in this form. It's just a very simple sum. And uh, what's interesting here is that, okay, so you have your, your basis. You are expanding in, in, a, in the canonical basis. And uh, you, you pick up a global phase. So sure, you also have your original uh, eigenvector here, but this phase is global to both of them. So this is called a phase kickback. And it's a common trick to use it for, for something, something meaningful. In this case, when you look at this form, it looks like something that you would get after the Fourier transformation of some state. And now, if we apply the inverse quantum Fourier uh, transformation, then we can write back this global phase into the register and hence estimating the eigenvalue that we're interested in in the first place.